Welcome, I'm from the Samsung Galaxy A03s and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of this device. And when you put it up for the first time, you will be presented with uh, this screen right over here. So let's tap on a blue button and select our desired language. There we go, English. Now we have the option to connect to mobile network. Uh, now this is if you insert a SIM card. Then we have a few legal items to review. Obviously we need to agree to the end user license agreement. Everything else is optional. Then we have the option to connect to Wi-Fi. Now this page right here is for me optional. As you can see, I can skip it. But if your device is completely brand new, you will not be able to skip it for some odd reason. Now, I can only guess that it might be to do with the warranty. If you connect to, you're forced to connect to Wi-Fi, so the warranty gets activated from Samsung. But that is just a complete guess because no other device does this. And if you can skip uh, connecting to Wi-Fi on a Samsung phone, then that phone ain't new, just so you know. So anyway, from here, I'm gonna skip this. And this brings me to the option to copy apps and data, meaning I can basically uh, move all the data from my old device to a new one uh, using their specific application, I believe. And that's from Samsung, the... I actually don't remember how it was called. Uh, but it will tell you if you want to copy. It most, most certainly will tell you what you need to download. And the process is fairly straightforward. All you need to do is select what you want to move over and that's it, it will start. Now I'm setting it up as new, so I'll select Don't Copy. And here we have Google Services, so we have location, scanning, sending user and diagnostic data. Now, if you're not sure what they are, you can read exactly by tapping right, for instance here, expanding it. And if you don't like it, you can disable all of them. And then go to the next page, which is a place where you can set up a protection to your device. So we have face recognition, fingerprint, pin pattern, and password. If you want some of those, select it. If you don't care, then skip it. And there we go, we are all set up. So once you tap on finish, you'll have access to the home screen. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.